Removing or eliminating the mortgage insurance on an FHA loan is completely different from a conventional loan, so it deserves its own separate discussion. Hi, I'm Gordon Baker with REMAX Alliance Group, and let's figure out what you can do to eliminate the mortgage insurance premium on an FHA loan. The first thing you have to understand is there was a major rule change in June of 2013. So if you have an FHA loan, first determine if it was issued before or after June 3rd, 2013. Let's start with the more recent loans, those insured in June 2013 or after. The determining factor for these post-June 2013 loans is what was the down payment. If the down payment was 10% or more, the mortgage insurance will drop off after 11 years. Market appreciation is not a factor. This should be tracked by the lender or loan servicer so that it happens automatically. All I can say to, to this is, in whose best interest is it to make sure that this happens? Yes, the borrower. And that's who needs to track it. Don't assume someone else will do it. On those post-June 2013 loans where the down payment is less than 10%, the insurance premium will stay for the life of the loan. This will most likely be the case with most FHA loans since part of their appeal is the low down payment option of 3.5%. This now, this takes care of the post-June 2013 FHA loans. Now, has this been valuable so far? If so, please hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to be made aware of future content-rich videos. Now, let's venture into the pre-June 2013 FHA loans and see if, it, if mortgage insurance can be eliminated. Now we're getting into more familiar territory where the elimination is tied to 22% equity based on the original value of the home, not the market value, unfortunately. Depending on the term of the loan, 20, 25, or 30 years, you're able to cancel the mortgage insurance premium after five years. For a 15-year loan, the, the five-year waiting period did not apply. Since this was almost nine years ago, if you still have a pre-June 2013 FHA loan, you need to check the equity from principal reduction based on the purchase price and see if it can be removed. By law, it should, be, it should have been removed if it qualifies, but again, don't assume a loan servicer is taking care of that. As you can see, the options for eliminating mortgage insurance on an FHA loan are limited, especially if the loan was issued after June 2013. The more likely Path for FHA borrowers is to refinance into a conventional loan. In this case, a homeowner will need to answer these questions when considering refinancing. For example, how long do you intend to stay in the house? And how many months or years will it take to recoup the upfront costs of refinancing? Now, have you built up sufficient equity based on the market value since you purchased the house to push you over the 20% equity threshold where you won't have mortgage insurance on a conventional loan. Now, will the new interest rate be sufficiently better than the one that you currently have? And what are the closing costs associated with the new conventional loan? Now, here's one that can be overlooked but should be considered. Has your credit score improved since you took out, took out your FHA mortgage, which would contribute to a, a better interest rate? Now, there's so many variables to consider. This is why it's in your best interest to talk to an experienced lender that can evaluate your situation. If you need a recommendation for a good loan officer, reach out to me and I'd be glad to help. Any other real estate questions, just give me a call. Thank you.